is Trigger, my faithful gaming PC. I call him Trigger because I built him five years ago to run my Oculus Rift CV1. He originally had an i7, 8GB of RAM and a GeForce GTX 980, but has gradually been upgraded to his current spec, which is an Intel Core i9 9900K, 32GB of Corsair Dominator RAM and a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. I'd also upgraded the PSU to a Corsair 850 watt Platinum, installed that gargantuan Noctua tower cooler to keep my i9 cool, and installed five new RGB fans into the case to keep the air flowing freely. This was in expectation of upgrading to an RTX 3080 at some point, but we all know how that went. About six months ago, Trigger started to crash. Just boom, PC off, all the fans to maximum. It was so sudden that I had no time to troubleshoot the problem. Anyway, after months of head scratching and trying various solutions, my tech-friendly mate, Face, suggested it might be the thermal paste on the GPU had degraded. The 2080 Ti was two years old at this point. So I watched a few videos on YouTube and thought, hmm, yeah, how hard can it be? So let's see what happened when someone with lots of enthusiasm, but zero talent, strips down an RTX 2080 Ti. So the first thing we have to do, obviously, is to take the graphics card out of the PC. Turn the power off, disconnect the plug. No, I don't have anger issues. I do have anger issues. I get angry at inanimate objects. There we go. I was a little bit baffled um, because I'd taken all the screws out and I still couldn't separate the uh, PCB from the cooler. And then I found out that it was actually just the friction of the thermal paste. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so this is the cooling mo module and there's the paste and um, doesn't look that good does it? And it's taken precautions. Give this a blow. Look at it. Possibly the most satisfying thing I've done all day. Right, well, I had some cooling paste, some thermal paste left over from when I installed the, the Noctua, so... How much do you reckon? Now, would you be sufficient? Should I give it a bit more? A little bit more. Right, so there we go. All the screws are back in. Thermal paste is applied. Everything seems to be working. Let's put it back in trigger. So, no, it didn't explode. So that's a good thing, isn't it? So, how can I stress test my Asus 2080 Ti? Well, I can run Half-Life Alex, of course. But not only that, I'm going to run Half-Life Alex over Oculus's brand new Air Link. So I've got the task manager open and I've got it on the performance overlay so I can see the GPU usage and temperature. And then to add to the uh, excitement, I've got Oculus debug tool running and I've got super sampling at 1.2. I've got a 
custom FOV tangent multiplier and a custom encode resolution width. Just to really, really stress things out. So let's get straight into it then and let's see how the GPU manages Half-Life Alex. Take that! Last of them. Good, because we don't have much time. So as you can see from the performance tab, the GPU utilization was up above 86% and the temperature never went above 84 degrees. So I think my strip down and replacing the thermal paste was actually successful and hopefully that solved my problem. What do you think? Have you ever done anything like that for your GPU? You know the drill, get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please hit the like button. The algorithm loves the likes and maybe consider subscribing. You can also support me on Patreon or buy some of my stylish merchandise from t-shirtstudio.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side. What the hell are those? I don't know, but we need to find out. Yeah, no, I, I know. I, I've just never seen those before.